Okay, and we are back. Let's go with the center one here. Oh, getting pretty low. Down to five decks after today. Let's see here. Ooh, this one. This one gave me a little trouble opening it up. Does that mean something good? All right. Dis, Shadows, and, un and Untamed. Holmes of Burgallon Bulwark. Let's jump right into this thing. Okay. First house is... Hey! It's Untamed, and check it out. It's Witch of the Eye. Whenever you reap, return a card from your discard pile to your hand. This card can be absolutely nuts with the right combination of cards. Let's see what we find. Niffleape. Three power. He gets to ignore Taunt and Elusive whenever he attacks. Oh, the Mushroom Man! Oh god, I've only opened uh, a set, couple of him in several different decks. I would love to see multiples. He's two power. He gets plus three power for each unforged key you have. So even whenever you already have two keys made, he's still a five power creature. That is still excellent. And he only gets better the less keys you have forged. Ooh, Halicor. Each friendly flank, cre flank creature gains skirmish, and he's four power. That's pretty nice, especially with the Mushroom Man. Dew Fairy, he's elusive. Whenever you reap, you gain an amber. That is so cool. I really like this card. I think this is an excellent, like, first turn card. Your opponent doesn't want to necessarily waste one of the removal on it, and every time he reaps, you're gaining two amber from the reap and his reap ability. Shota Hazri, nice. Three power, whenever you play him, you lose an amber. If you do, you get to forge key at current cost. Briar Grubbling, what is this? Two power, he has hazardous five. Oh my god! That destroys so many creatures before they can even do damage to him. Oh, this is an awesome card to reap with. Wow. This is the first time I've seen him, and that, man, that is so sweet. That is a good card. Troop Call. Oh, we only had one Niffle. Dang. All right, Troop Call. This is where you get an Amber and you play it. Return each friendly Niffle creature from your discard pile and from play to your hand. Stampede, another rare. Amber whenever you play it. If you use three or more creatures this turn, you get to steal two Amber. Wow, that is cool. This is a card, I mean, you're going to always try and play your cards for the most value possible. So you got to look at this card as you're only going to play it when you meet this condition. So that's a three Amber card. That is nice. Save the pack. You destroy each damaged creature, gain a chain. Whoa, two save the packs and a nocturnal maneuver. Okay, one amber, you exhaust up to three creatures. I like having a little bit of control with these sweet creatures, especially this Witch of the Eye. Witch of the Eye with like the Mushroom Man, is, you know, and this Halakar. There's a lot of cards here that we're able to abuse. Okay, hey, it's another rare. We're now into shadows. It's Snell Kilter? He's two power. Whenever you play him, take control of an enemy artifact. While under your control, it does not belong to one of your. Th oh, if it does not belong to one of your three houses, is considered to be house shadows. Oh my gosh! So you take control of the artifact for the remainder of the game. It doesn't say you relinquish control of it whenever he goes away. That is awesome. This is a sweet card. And Silvertooth, two power. He enters play ready. Old Bruno. He's elusive. Three power. Whenever you play him, you capture three amber. You've got two of those. Oh man, I would have liked to see maybe one more creature there, but I'm not going to complain too much. We got some good stuff. Relentless Whisperers. Whenever you play, you deal two damage to a creature. If it destroys that creature, you get to steal an amber, and you get an amber whenever you play it. So once again, this is a two amber card. Because you only want to play it for max value. Poison Wave. One amber. Deal two damage to each creature. Pawn Sacrifice. An amber. Sacrifice a friendly creature. If you do, you deal three damage to each to two creatures. Nerve Blast. Play it, steal an amber. If you do, deal two damage to a creature. Cool. Imperial Trader. Wow, how many rares are in here? Uh, it's an amber. Look at your opponent's hand. You may choose and purge a Sanctum card in it. So, very conditional card. Thank God they gave you an amber with it. But when it, the conditions are met, purging is very powerful. Oh my God, and Ghostly Hand. Two amber whenever you play it. If your opponent has exactly one amber, you get to steal it. So this is basically a three amber card. Two Ghostly Hands. Oh my God. That is so good. Three ghostly hands, come on! Come on! No way! Oh, oh okay, this, I, oh, this is so amazing. I can't wait to play this deck later. Holy, what a strong finish to Shadows. All right, Flame Wreath. Amber, whenever you play, it's an upgrade. Uh, this creature gets plus two power and gains hazardous plus two. Oh, that is gonna be absolutely, absolutely disgusting. 
disgusting if you can put it right here onto the briar. Look at that. Seven power creatures just die when they try to attack this guy with this combo. They just die. They don't even get to do anything to him. Oh, that is absolutely absurd. Succubus. During your opponent's draw steps, they refill to one less card. Pit Demon. Action. He gets to steal an amber. He's five power. Whoa, what is this guy? Another rare. Holy, how many rares are in here? Overlord Grek King. He's a demon. Seven power. After an enemy creature is destroyed fighting him, put that creature into play under your control. Come on. Okay. This is insane. This deck is absolutely insane. What the hell is going on here? Dust Imp, two power, destroyed, you gain two amber. There's so, oh, another Dust Imp. This deck has so much amber generation and so many good cards. I, I can't believe it. What, what is going on right now? Charette, whenever you play it, you get three amber, four power there. Screaming Cave, come on, it's another rare. We have another rare in here. It's an artifact. Shuffle your hand and discard pile into your deck. Wow. Oh my god, and Library of the Damned. There's just so much quality. Uh, it's an artifact. You get to, as an action archive, a card. Dominator Bobble! Come on! Come on, what is this? It's like the best! Oh, okay. Whenever you use it, uh, use it, you get to use a friendly creature. This is nuts. Mind Barb. An Amber whenever you play it. Your opponent discards a random card from their hand. And Control the Weak. Amber whenever you play it, you force your opponent to play a particular house of your choice. Holy! All right, I'm going to have to look at the back of this. Was that like six rares? I think it was six. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, that, that's six rares in this deck. But the thing is, the rares are really good. We didn't open up any of those rares that are just kind of like, okay, what are we going to do? Okay, we, we opened one. One questionable rare. And it was Imperial Trader. Other than that, I mean, look at this. Three ghostly hands? Come on. Oh my god, that is so abusive. All the hazardous that you have in here, a little bit of uh, messing with your opponent in different ways. We had a couple different ways to steal. Creatures that had some elusive. Let's see, yeah, like two old Brunos. And this guy, oh my god, stealing their artifacts. So we, in this deck, we have a guy that can steal artifacts and a guy that is able to steal our opponent's creatures. That is nuts. Absolutely nuts. We got this little bit of control going on here in Untamed. I really like the Stampede. There's, I mean, this is actually only one Niffle Ape with our Troop Call. But overall, this is a powerful deck. And, I mean, what can we do with the Switch of the Eye? I mean, this, this being able to get, actually, oh my god. You know what? Between the Witch, and the, uh, Witch of the Eye and the Screaming Cave, even if they deal, even if they're able to deal with this guy... And the guy that's stealing, you know, uh, the artifacts. Even if they get that, the fact that we can very quickly get those back into our hand quicker than we ever should, that is really insane to think about. Oh my gosh, and there's just so much amber generation. Because we got it with the creatures, and we got a little, so we just got the right amount of everything in here. We got a decent amount of steel. This is, wow, okay, I look forward to playing this on Sunday. I will report back, uh, if this is as good as I think it is, but I, I think it's going to be. Look at this combo. Last thing I want to point out. You ready? Halicor. Each friendly flank creature gets skirmish. Okay, let's combine it with the Overlord. What? Okay, he's not even going to take any damage, okay? We're going to make it where he takes no damage, and we're just going to start stealing our opponent's creatures every turn. Thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.